What's going on guys, the Iron Can here, back with another Dragon Ball The Breakers video. And in today's video, we're gonna be discussing the 10 super attacks you need before season two starts. Now, super attacks are good in the sense that with spirit that you obtain from doing summons, you can actually unlock super attacks by spending it. So say if you pull a character, but you don't get their super attack, uh, I'll just show you the example. You could buy Cell's Perfect Kamehameha with 25,000 spirit. So unlike active skills and passive skills, you could actually get super attacks with pity, if you want to call it pity. But anyways, let's get into the passive super attacks that I think you guys need to have. Now, if you've been playing the game for a long time, you would have saw this coming. Super Electric Strike. Super Electric Strike is by far the best super attack in the game. It's not even close. There's no competition. The damage it deals is fantastic. It comes out quick. It has fantastic range. And it only costs a 100 to use. With it, There's literally nothing bad about it. Well, okay. The one thing bad about it is its range does have a downside. And its downside is if it interacts with anything, anything. I'm, I'm talking like the raider is here and there's a tree right here. If it hits the tree, it's not going to hit the raider. So that's the only thing bad about Super Electric Strike. But again, that's kind of a thing with all the super attacks in the game. But it's just... An annoyance with Super Electric Strike in particular because its range is so long, but it's the best super attack in the game by far. You can absolutely shred raiders with this, so I highly recommend it. You need this super attack before Season 2. Uh, moving on, the super attack that kind of was reigning supreme before Super Electric Strike was Special Beam Cannon. As you can see in the video, it's very quick, it's very snappy, deals a lot of damage, but the uh consume limit of it is 150 so it's 50 more than super electric strike um and you're doing about the same amount of damage so for level four it's definitely very good but uh the, the range isn't as wide obviously it's very linear here it's just like a straight line but uh it's very quick and in terms of super attacks it's definitely one you need and it's piccolo piccolo has been in the game since day one so you guys probably have piccolo but if you don't you definitely need it so moving on here this is an ability that I, I imagine some of you probably wouldn't expect but justice rush dude justice rush is a really really good ability but i like it uh opposed to other melee supers in the game is that this holds the raider in place and it holds the raider in place for a pretty long time allowing other survivors to land their own justice rush their own super attacks melee combos what have you it's a very very good super attack it's only a hundred the tracking is pretty decent. Of course, if the Raider sees it coming, they'll be able to dodge it easily. But if somebody is holding the Raider in place and you're able to land it off, it deals decent damage, dude. And I honestly, I think you guys should have it. I think you guys should have it. So moving on here is an ability that most transfers have in the game. Yamcha has it. Uh, Krillin has it. Seventeen has it. Like a lot of transfers have it in this game. So... I imagine you guys have it in one way or another but anyway i think you guys need full power energy blast volley now this super attack isn't good in every scenario but when it is good dude it is really fucking good um if you land this on a raider in a cave they will take so much fucking damage you'll be like what happened bro uh, it only costs 100. It comes out fairly quick. And it's kind of just like a, a spamming key blast attack that the Raiders have. And if their back is against the wall, the, what, the beauty of this move is that it lasts a long time. And each blast inflicts damage. So if the Raider is against the wall and they take hits by each projectile, they will take a lot of damage, my friends. And this is also really good for just knocking the Raider back. And it's just an overall really good ability. The only thing that's bad about it is that its range is not the greatest. So the Raider can kind of just fly away. And if it misses, you're kind of just awkwardly still shooting. And the Raider can hit you with a super attack or do whatever the hell they want with you. So you got to be mindful about that. Moving on, I have dual destructo discs. I feel like this is an ability that you guys should have just because it has decent range and it deals decent damage and the cost is not that bad either. 
it's only bad uh, up close and personal, but I feel like this is a super attack you guys should have. It's one of the more unique ones, and compared to the other ones that are in the game, I feel like this is one you guys should have. All right, moving on, we have Double Buster. So this is one of the newest super attacks that we have in the game. And what's unique about this ability is that if it misses, you can actually redirect it and hit the Raider again. So this ability is one that doesn't deal the most damage, but it's also one that can land. And if you miss, you can of course redirect it. So I feel like for its utility, it's definitely one worth getting, one worth experimenting with. And I think it's gonna age just fine. So it's definitely one I feel like you guys should get in your arsenal. So moving on, we have the Misenko. So the Misenko is pretty much just a worse version of Double Buster. It might be slightly faster, but it doesn't redirect. But with its speed, you know, it's probably going to hit most of the time anyway, but its damage is slightly less. Most of these abilities that are worth 80 deal, well not most of them, they deal less damage than the super attacks that are worth um, 100 and 150. So you got to keep that in mind, but they are pretty reliable in hitting the Raider. Now, similar to the Misenko is Trunks' burning attack. It's basically the same thing. Comes out quick, comes out snappy. Doesn't deal as much damage as some of these other super attacks, but it's unique, it's cool. I feel like you guys should have it. Moving on, uh, this is one of my favorite super attacks that I used early in the game before Super Electric Strike and Special Beam Cannon was the Spirit Bomb. What's really good about this ability is that you can kind of just hold it and you wait until the raider is in a vulnerable position and it holds the raider in place when it explodes allowing other uh, survivors to land other super attacks and then what melee combos and whatever else they want to do so spirit bomb is good but um i want to make note here super spirit bomb is bad <laughs> this is i know i'm talking about super ticks that you need i want you to know right now super spirit bomb is bad never equip this ability spirit bomb just use this one and for the last ability that I want to talk about that I feel like uh, is one that you want to have is Hell Flash. Hell's Flash is really good in the sense that it has this AoE ability when it hits the ground. Now, of course, Raiders are not normally on the ground that much. But in the defensive stage, when the Raider is destroying the Super Time Machine, the Raider is going to be on the ground. So if you fly all the way up um, above the Raider... Uh, while they're trying to destroy the super time machine you can kind of annoy them with hell's flash because it's going to be a little difficult for them to dodge his ability with the aoe kind of spreading around the super time machine the worst thing about this ability is that its cost is fairly high and most of the time you're probably not going to be using it on the ground where it is its best anyway so it's basically just a kamehameha that costs more so with that take it as you will but yeah, guys, those are the super attacks I think you need before Season 2 starts. There are a couple here that maybe you guys might consider, like Perfect Kamehameha. I personally don't really care for it. And maybe Death Ball. Again, personally don't care for it. But there are any super attacks you guys think I missed, think that um, are worth mentioning here that people need to have before Season 2. By all means, let me know in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed. And please let me know in the comments how uh, shitty charge is. Just... Just let me know, dude. Just, just remind everybody how crappy Charge is. And subscribe for more Dragon Ball The Breakers news, updates, and funny moments. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.